Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3. This is Dragon Valley Adventures. Now this one may be coming as a little bit of a shock to you because if you recall, I completely lost this file um, about a month ago. Actually, maybe a little, little over a month ago. But as I've been telling you guys, I am nothing if not stubborn. And um, I saved this file. I saved this file complete without having to actually pop him out of anything. Um, we are right back exactly where we picked up or picked, left off. So. I was happy I got everything back, so I'm I just figured I will just go ahead and play this one. I'll put it in when I can and do what I got to do. Um, all mods and everything, of course, are out of the game, and we're just actually playing this just a regular, plain old Sims 3 game. All right, so I have no idea what we're actually trying to do. We're trying to get into a tomb of some sort. So it says, haggling the finer details, or final details. All right, stop music. <laughs> I can't read over you. Okay, progress. The treasure cannot be too far behind if this clue is any indication. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the trove is in Shang Sim La. However, it is on property owned by a local merchant. If you convince Wu Zhu to work with us, we can finally find the treasure. All right, so we got to ask to allow entrance to let us search for the treasure. Then we have to return. All right, let's go. Now, this is not going to be fun. I can tell you that right now. We're going to have to go over there and be all nice and sweet and suck up to whoever this person is, become their friend. And I don't think he has charisma, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. He mastered charisma. Oh, let me see. Hang on. Hang on. Um, cool. All right, he's got a little bit of an advantage. I love it. So this one won't be quite as bad. My poor perfect genetics guy, he's having to struggle with it. But Harrison, you should be just fine. Woman, do not leave us. Oh, hush up, <laughs> you little kids. All right. Oh, sh you horrible, horrible woman. All right, let's go ahead and do a charming introduction and see if we build a better relationship with her. I know he does. See, he got a bigger boost, which that's good. I'm glad. Um, he does not have what I wanted. Yikes. All right, buddy. You're not helping me here. All right. Didn't help me one bit. Get to know her. And... Let's see. Okay. There you go. You don't have to do all that. Oh, stop it, lady. Call her over. Stop her. Can you stop her? No. <laughs> you can't stop her? There we go. I think we got her. Oh, man. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you aren't. So, buddy, looks like you might be lucky. I don't know. Now that you're friends, you should be able to do this. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. We don't have to mess with you anymore. We can head on back over. Um, where are we going? Oh, yeah, I did buy you a motorcycle. <laughs> I forgot. I always get my guys' motorcycles here. Uh, it's just too funny. Okay. Uh, she's our special merchant. We need to buy some stuff from her anyway. So let's go ahead and um, let's just do a hilarious greet. Well, maybe not. Um, I just want to buy items. Where's buy items? Okay, we got to enter the treasure trove. All right, so we've been doing a little bit. All right. Um, all right, fine. Don't even bother with it. Just go to the treasure trove. And... I don't know which one it is. I forgot to read it. It says, good work. Well, you are ready, Harrison. It's time for you to return the treasure stolen from my ancestors by the cursed Dong Ho. <laughs> Take this key, enter the treasure trove, and return the relic to me. You will be well compensated for all you have done for me and my family. Okay, do we go to the front? Do we go to the back? <laughs> front or back? I never know. Um, let's see. Uh, every time I go to the front, it's supposed to be in the back. And I think, hold on a minute that we've already unlocked this so apparently we tried uh, maybe we did come in this way are you able to use it now yes you can <laughs> all right so we're gonna come over here um let's go down here and get this and there's some stuff over here to collect too so let's go ahead and collect collect and collect all right turn on and there's nothing else over here i don't think I may be wrong. Yeah, you could read it. It just, um, I think we read it the last time. If I'm not mistaken, I could be. I might be. Probably am. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Yep, it's all really nice and well lit up. So that's obviously where we got to go. So let's just head on over. Now, you know there's something back there. You know there's got to be. In that big of a space, come on. But not yet. All right. So anyway, um, this one is actually not too bad. 
I don't think there's a mummy down here. I really don't. I used to think there was, but now I realize um, I think it's just in the dragon's cave. I think that's the only one that I know for sure. And there's four of them in there. So this one, no. This one, I don't think there's anything. But this is actually a, a very big cave. Let me look at his energy and all that. Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> this is Dragon Valley. I can use dragons in this one, so I don't have to use. I don't have to have any guilt over it. All right, go ahead and go down these steps. Yeah, so I don't have to sleep. We can get all this stuff done. I love Dragon Valley for that. All right, so we can use the dragons, and it's not considered cheating. Okay, now of course you want to read these things as soon as you see them. I didn't read that last one because, like I said, I know we'd already read it. All right, fool, you are no warrior. You will not be able to overcome my traps. I look forward to meeting your ghost. All right, well, thank you for. The confidence we quite appreciate it and um, walking right over here it is a nice little trap so don't fall for it <laughs> I usually do but I'm just telling you don't fall for it um, and there's nothing over here yeah I normally just walk right over because you know you don't think anything it doesn't really seem that suspicious but with these guys all looking that way you probably should have expected it now, I don't know if he's disarmed a whole lot of traps, but we need to make sure we disarm quite a bit. Now, he's still getting visa points, so we're not actually at a level 3 visa, which is okay. Um, we don't have to be yet. Did we not do it? All right, go ahead and cross it. Apparently, we couldn't get it. All right, go through the door. Okay, now this one, tons of traps. And so we're probably going to get a whole bunch of things over here to disarm a trap. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that one. Cancel out of that one. And we could meditate. I'm not going to. Go ahead and disarm it. And I'm going to speed him up through this process. At least these are exposed. Okay. Come over here and disarm that one. And then we'll have these two out of the way. I always start over here, and there's really no danger whatsoever, so we just I just always come right here to the back. Now, there is danger if you go through the door and go that way, which is, it's very tempting. So I always go this way because you don't have any traps, you don't get stuck by anything, um, and you can kind of come in the back way and uh, you'll see everything and disable it, so it's not too bad. And it should open up a door back here, I believe. Come on. <laughs> All right, so he's got his door. And um, I typically will go over here and sleep, but you'll see what this did. It actually gave you... Um, okay, let's see. We've got a bathroom. Do we need anything? Not really. Not really at all. But here's our keystone that we needed. Here is... Um, I don't want to view it. I want to collect it. Whatever this is, we want it. And then it actually went ahead and disabled that for us. So that's why I come through the back, just because it definitely gives you that advantage. Go through the door. You know, this part over here, um, got to be careful. We're going to come over here in just a minute, but I always set off a trap. There's one right here. Go ahead and inspect it, and he's going to go right into it. I always do it. And to, except for this time. <laughs> Alright, so I'm make, making myself out to be a liar. But normally I do. I normally forget this stupid thing and I walk right over here and I fall for it every time and I just shake my head at myself and say, alright, so I did it. Alright, go ahead and disarm it. Um, I don't really care about these. I want the good ones. Okay, go ahead and collect that even though I don't really care. And there's no way to move it so you know there's nothing behind it. Alright. While we're here, let's go ahead and open up this door. I just try to stay on one side because you know, the end of the tomb um, is actually back over here. Okay, now this one's kind of fun because you get to actually take a whole bunch of these guys. You're going to get a bunch of these little nectar things. But be careful because some of them are going to be bad. Not usually on your first trip. Usually it's like when you come back and they've re um, respawned. That's when you'll get the bad ones and you don't really want them. So you got to be careful. Okay, there's nothing here to take. Go ahead and inspect this, and let's get into the next room. And we can get these last little bit. Um, and this is a good place also if you're getting hungry or thirsty or whatnot, you can actually get something. He is getting kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and actually I want to eat the medium ones. So you'll do that. Speed you up through this one real quick, buddy. And Okay, now we got lots of these little bottles to take. Let's go ahead and collect it. Collect it. 
no danger here, nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Watch him get trapped. Okay, there's nothing in here. Obviously, you can see it's empty. This one, you can take them all. This one, you can take them all. And we can actually make a lot of money off of these things. So, Plus, you're going to get some adventures that are going to tell you that they want you to deliver some of these. And it's better if you just have them. All right, these are just tasting. Okay. And at this point, I think we've taken everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to explore and see where this takes us. Hopefully, it'll be something decent. Um, man, what's that worth? 250? Not worth a whole lot. All right, well, at least we got that. I don't want to train anybody. I want to do this one. I should have done that one. This one's worth a lot more. So we're going to stick with that one. Okay. Alright, so we found another one of the keystones. That's what that music is telling you. So that's a nice thing. You wanted to get them because you got to get four. But, you know, that's not the only one. There's another place. Actually, there is. Yeah, that is one you have to do. So there's one that you don't have to do. It's not in this tomb. But anyway. Alright, so you come out of here and go ahead and inspect this one. Let's get this trap exposed. There's a whole bunch of traps down here. And when I say a whole bunch, there is a bunch. And, of course, there's nothing on that wall, I don't think. Ah, of course, yeah, it is. <laughs> I just went right onto it. And he's going to actually pass out. Well, I tried. Like I said, if you don't click it in the right spot, you're in trouble. All right, full moon. Don't have to worry about it. Go ahead and disarm that one. At least I think I made you brave. You should have been brave. Dis uh, let's disable this one. Did I make you brave? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm a smart. At least I did something right. All right, you can't really do that one, so why don't we go ahead and attempt to cross it. The reason I want to cross over it, I just like to um, go ahead and expose them all in case I need to send it back. Oh, man. All right, fine. Well, then, you know what? This is another way to do it. Um. <laughs> all right, fine. Go ahead and pass out. If you do this one, I think it's going to actually disable it, I believe. So go ahead and inspect that. I think it takes care of it. It should. It should disable. Yeah, so that's why. And it actually unlocked something else over here. Oh, no, it didn't unlock anything. So, all right. So over here, there is more traps on the floor. There's one right here. And I don't think there's any on the wall. But you're tempted to just walk over because you want to go grab this stuff and inspect that. But there are traps everywhere on every bit of this floor. So you're going to be working on inspecting things for a while here. Okay, go ahead and just disarm it. Get that out of the way. And it's a dart one, so that's never a good sign. All right, let's go ahead and just stay on the path. If you stay on the path up to here, you should be okay. Inspect that one. Uh, I don't think there's anything back here. No. All right, so we've got to get this one. I don't really know why we need that one, but we need to go ahead and do it. All right, let me speed you through this. Like I said, I like to just go ahead and disarm them all, just so that I don't have to worry about them later. All right, go ahead and do this one. And that way I just have them out of here. Not that you really need them, but go ahead. And all for that little garbage right there. <laughs> not really that big of a deal. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's worth something, I guess. And he is trying to actually collect and make a lot of money, which he's doing pretty decent. I mean, I know we haven't been playing him for very long. Uh, it's only like the 14th episode, so um, alright, go ahead and disarm this thing. Oh, I don't want to inspect it. We already know what's there. Go ahead and disarm. Go ahead and do that. Then you can go ahead and collect the stuff and inspect that one. And this one is actually going to do... I don't know if it disables anything. Um, I think it basically just exposes or gives you something in the um, inside. It doesn't really give you any... doesn't unlock anything. Okay, this one, there is a lot of stuff in here. And there's one major trap that you can't fall for, which I typically do. Go ahead and collect the loot. Um, there's nothing to worry about here yet. Collect this loot. And it's right here. So don't fall for it. <laughs> Just go ahead. Actually, wait a minute. Stop. Don't don't do it. You're gonna he's gonna set it off, isn't he? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. But you gotta do it because you're trying to go after this key. And if you don't come in here, you will not catch it. 
and to get out of this thing you got to have four keys and this will be key number three so we're getting there plus we got to get the Chinese symbol for this tomb and go ahead and disarm and that's gonna be coming up pretty quick too okay you can't do it so you might as well go ahead and just attempt to cross see if you can disable it that way he should be able to there you go take that take that and then we're out of here okay so we got this part done well kid you know there's something called a house go home so get out of here <laughs> there you go at least he listened to me all right so we got our third key we need the fourth one and then we'll be doing pretty good and do not fall for that one I've fallen for that one many many times all right that's what I was waiting on okay that's the you've actually done enough of these 400 for hidden door it's not really that great is it and this is 200 yeah I'm not gonna worry about these then I right, go over here and disarm this one so we, uh, so we can see it that music says that he's disarmed enough traps that now he can do it a little bit faster oh you're not sleeping buddy <laughs> trust me you are not sleeping um, that's the charisma one I like this one you're gonna talk to summon a death flower I actually want to talk to him about logic and then I want a death flower. I do. I want a death flower. I don't know if you've got one or not, but go ahead and do it and see what we get. All right, come on, buddy. And he should take care of energy and hunger. I think he does. Go ahead. There you go. Love my little dragons. Uh, I didn't actually fill up the energy, though, did it? So go ahead and talk to him again about logic. I want it full. <laughs> I want the whole thing. All right, I guess there's not enough room to fly. All right, put him in your inventory, and then let's go through this door. Now, this is actually a tricky room. There's not a whole lot that we can get in this part. It just basically is just showing you that um, there is some stuff. We can't get in here, but there is a room that we have to get to, but we got to go around the other side. So let's go over here. All right, go here. And I think it is this one right here that he has to actually pull he doesn't really have to pull it he's going to there is trap right there and he's gonna be standing on it and that's what it does so you're good it's the one trap that you can almost step on and you actually clear it before doing anything else all right is there anything else over here yep Okay, so at this point, you look up here, there's nothing else on the red, so, you, so if you stayed on the red, you'd be fine. Let's go ahead and jump up here. And of course, what you're typically going to do, everybody's going to... What's wrong, buddy? You can't get around it? Oh, wait, we didn't disarm. Didn't disarm. All right, gotcha. Go ahead and disarm it. See if you can do it. If you can't, you'll just cross it. There you go. All right, come up here. Now, typically what people do is they go right in here and they think, oh, okay, great. This is where I want to go. I want to go ahead and um, inspect this one and go in this room and get all this done. And it's a trap or a trick, I guess I should say. Because if you do this, you're going to miss out on something. And it's something you don't want to miss out on. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to collect while we're here. And collect, collect, collect what we got. Good stuff. Okay, collect that one. Shut that one, and let's move on. And then there's one last thing we have to do in here before we leave this room. Stand on that, and it's going to actually give us access to what we need in the other room. Okay, there we go. Now we got some good stuff to actually look at. What do you want to do? Sleep in a tomb? Well, he doesn't ever have to sleep, so I don't really think we need to worry about that. Okay, money bags and coins. Um, he's doing pretty good on those doesn't really need him but he's doing good on him all right I'm gonna speed him up through all this because we really don't need to see him collect coins after coins after coins all right did we get to this one did I open that one yeah I did all right now as you can see he's unlocked this door and this is what they wanted you when they designed this they wanted you to see that and then walk out here and go over there and get to that thing because oh you want to collect all the loot and the coin however you're missing a major room right here so you gotta make sure you come over here and get this room because you're gonna find something in here that you are looking for so if you guys come through here and you're looking for I believe it's called the symbol of the market caverns or whatever it's the little statue which I think he's got a bunch of them I believe they're probably at home um, 
this is where you're going to find it. And I have come in here many times and think I always think I've looked at everything. And I look for the symbol, and I'm like, but I went through that tomb. I did it. And it's because I missed this room. All right, so you go ahead, and it's going to open up on its own. But yeah, so don't leave this room behind. Go ahead and go. Do we have the axe? I don't think we do, do we? Please tell me we've got the axe. I'd be so happy if we did. No. <laughs> oh, man, that means we have to go through that axe thing again. All right, so here's the symbol that I was talking about. So if you're looking for it and you've lost it, or if you can't find it, it's in this room. All you got to do is come over here and grab it. All right, we'll go ahead and look inside and collect that loot. And then we're almost out of this tomb. There's not a whole lot more to it. There really isn't. Um, well, kind of is, but not really. Not that much that we have to really disarm or anything. I don't think. I think we've gone through most of the major parts. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm trying to think before I look over there. I think we've done it all. Yeah, we've gotten the mo we've gotten the major parts out. So we're really we're just at the last little bit. All right, don't get stuck in there by mummy. Okay, good. He's fine. All right, when he gets finished with this, I'm going to send him back over here. He can come get the money bag. He can get the coin of uh, the crescent key get whatever this stuff is and then we're ready we're ready to get on to the next part we still haven't actually wrapped it up so we're getting there okay but now you got your four um, your four crescent keys and so you're gonna start right here with this one it doesn't matter you can start there's four of them right here there's four little locks it doesn't matter which one you go to you can go to any of them first it does not make a difference so you're not you don't have any traps or anything to worry about you can see all the traps they're right there but these um, keys are gonna help us get through it all right and as you can see we got it all right here and then I just go ahead and just each one of these is gonna disable something down the path in front of us so <laughs> all right, go ahead but yeah, I like this one because, like I said, it's got that little bedroom over here that if you are tired, you've got a bathroom, you got a bedroom, you can just stay here. It doesn't have anywhere to actually eat except for this little juice bar, so you do at least have that. All right, go ahead and stand on that, and then you're going to do this one. And I'm going to speed you up through this because all it's going to do is disable a trap. And I mean, that's good because I didn't want to have to sit there and have to fight it and go through it because you can't. All right, go ahead and stand on this. Yeah, these tombs are actually, I like the ones in China. I think I said it many times before, my favorites have to be the ones in Egypt. I think those have got the most, um, I don't know, the most interest for me. So, although I do like these too, but. And then there is one in France that I really, really like, but it's frustrating. Um, all right, so that takes care of our path. We shouldn't have anything to worry about all the way down here, and I don't think there's anything to collect you got to watch some of these little areas sometimes you can collect something right here we do need to actually move these guys out so I'm gonna pull him far let's get him up here and um, hopefully actually I don't have to pull him that far let's just pull him once that's all I really needed to do is just pull him once and then I can push him out of the way at least I think I can. <laughs> I try. I do this every time, and then I'm like, oh, did I do it right? So you can go ahead and push him out of the way. You just want to bypass this um, this torch, so that's really all you're trying to do. You're trying to get to the red one, and if you can get to the red one, great. If not, can we get it out of here? Yeah, you can get this one out. You're going to do the same thing here. Just pull him out, and then you can slide the uh, red one back. You could have probably gone past it right now anyway, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I moved him out. Because sometimes it'll say he can, sometimes he can't. And this should unlock this door for us, so we should be good. All right, so go ahead and push this one back. You can't go but one space, but I said push far. It doesn't really matter. Okay, doors unlocked. Let's go ahead. This should be it for us, I believe. I hope so. <laughs> I think that's all we have to do. Yep, that's it. All right, now this is a huge room with a whole bunch of good stuff in it. And if you come back on uh, future trips, all of this stuff will respawn. It won't be the same exact items, but there'll be other stuff in here. Typically, if you've already gotten your um, most of your stuff, it will be your um, 
gold coins, which, you know, I'm not really crazy about that, but that's okay. And, of course, we got a lot of good stuff here. I think that's one of the special vases that we're looking for, and I know that's one of the zodiac animals we're looking for. Do not forget this little, um, whatever it is, this little hole back here in the ground. You definitely want that. And, um, then we got all these guys over here. I always save this guy for, like, the very end. Now, I have come through here before, and heard the music and the whole thing and then this wasn't lit up it wasn't working uh, it's a glitch that happens every once in a while and I always kind of hold my breath before I go through that door because it's happened to me a couple of times and it's just aggravating because you can't finish the adventure so if it doesn't register that it's in there it doesn't matter what you do you won't be able to do anything now this I believe is going to open up a door I think it opens up the door back here uh, and it's our exit to get out of here yep there we go and it's kind of weird because there's something back here that um, I don't really know what to do with it. There's nothing we can do with it. So, all right, you go ahead. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to speed you up. And again. <laughs> and again. And one more time. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got some good stuff on this trip. Okay, we got another key. At least that's what it sounded like. But I don't think so. I don't think it was a key, was it? There we go. That's what we were looking for. And now you're going to come over here and clear this stuff out. I wish we had the axe, but unfortunately we haven't gotten that adventure yet. We should be getting it soon. All right, don't freeze on me. Not after all this. Ah, that would not be good. <laughs> that would not be good at all. All right, so anyway. Now was. Was there anything back here? Not on the ground, and not up there. So sometimes you got to look at it carefully. I don't know why there was something there. Doesn't look like there's anything on the ground to collect. But that's okay. We're gonna just go ahead and just look in here. Now you can move this guy. It doesn't do anything though. I've moved these guys many times. Doesn't. I've moved them all over the place. I've moved them all up and down this room. Does not do anything. It doesn't unlock anything. Gives us nothing. So I just go ahead and I. Go ahead and get out of here. It's not worth my time. Nothing else in here to do. We don't have anything else to worry about. At least I don't think there is because I've tried getting the door back here. Um, I've tried moving. These guys don't move from the back, so you're just kind of stuck. It's just those two front ones. All right, over here, um, we've already been down here. Now there is one other thing I want to look for. Nope, that's it. We're good. Oh, you wasted that. <laughs> that's all right. You have a dragon. You don't need to do that. Uh, that's all right. Are you tired or anything? Nah. It's okay. You got plenty of money. We can go buy more of that stuff, and we probably should. Let's go deliver the treasure and see what else we can come up with. Um, while he's doing that, let's take a look real quick at our journal, see how we've done. Um, yeah, we haven't done a whole lot, have we? All right, we've done four of the tombs. We've got almost all the vases. That's pretty cool takes a while to get those and as far as our visa not quite up to level three yet all right well, we're getting there takes a little while but we'll get there now I don't know who we got to go back and talk to um I forgot her name but it doesn't look like she's at home it looks like she's at the martial arts academy I think so yeah I think she is and this is weird. Sometimes, yep, they got to do this. Uh, this came with the patch from Island Paradise. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm being very sarcastic when I say that, by the way. Uh, they go down in the ground and then come back up. And at least he didn't go for very long. Sometimes they go down and they disappear for about a minute and come back later. And that just infuriates me because it's like the game's not frozen. It's just I've lost him. He's sunk into the ground. But that nah, one's okay. All right. Does he even know martial arts? I don't think he has any skill in it whatsoever. Oh, yeah, he does. He's got a little bit. All right, fine. <laughs> Here, you make me into a liar again. Okay, we have gotten that one done. Let's see. What do we got? At last, I am speechless, truly. I never thought I'd see this piece return to its rightful place in my home. Here, I want you to have the rest of the treasure found. You have more than earned it. Okay, so we did good. Um, at this point, what else do we want to do? We want to pillow fight with her? I don't think so. We're not doing that. We're going to head to the house, and we're going to pick up whatever the next adventure is. Um, since he's got the level 3 visa, I'm not too, or level 5 martial arts, I'm not too concerned because if we get that adventure that makes us go meditate in the garden, we should be good. So I don't have to really worry too much about that. But I would like to actually work on martial arts a little bit 
and get some things taken care of. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that yet. All right, now I'm wondering, did we do red assassin bugs in this LP? I don't know if we did. I kind of hope we did. I kind of hope I got that over with. Um, then again, we may not have. You never know. I'd have to go back and look at the uh, the old episodes and see. I forgot. After I was just messing up trying to figure out how to get them back and get this restored, I didn't even care about what we have and have not done. All right, stop, stop, stop. All right, go ahead and see what we can get into. Give me something good, please. Nothing? <laughs> Something, please, better than that. Um, yeah, I think this is it. All right, hello, Harrison. My name is Li Yao. I have been studying the Dragon Cave for years and have found that with so many tourists these days, it's much more peaceful and productive to study it from home, away from the tourist com uh, commotion. To do this, I'm building a telescope, and I'm wondering if you'll assist me in collecting five medals um, to construct the telescope. I'll pay you for your services. You know, you could just go buy a telescope. <laughs> That's fine. All right, we got to go get some metal, and this is where we're going to be traveling. Okay, not too bad, though. Um, might as well start here. So at least they're actually all laid out pretty quick and pretty easy for us. So we're going to go ahead and collect these. Collect these. Let me go ahead and turn him loose. And nothing too far. Now, you could actually go around and collect a whole bunch of stuff and um, save it. Or, you know, get it and sell it and make a lot of money off of it. You don't have to, but now I could go to get this one way up here. It looks like it's really close, but you have to go traveling quite a bit. Or you can go get this one, and you still have to travel quite a bit too, but he's on a motorcycle. There's a bunch of them up here though. Man, there's a bunch. All right, you know what? Let's go up here. Even though I know this is probably further, we're just gonna go up here and we're gonna get at least a couple extra ones. And let's just speed him up, get him out of here. Actually, I don't even think he has to come up here. I don't think he has to. Yeah, hold on. He doesn't have to come up here. Um, yep, he can go deliver. And so that shouldn't take, that didn't take too long. Now he's got a lot of good stuff in here. And again, like I said, I could hang out and just collect a bunch of this stuff if I wanted to. If I was really desperate for money. But we're not hurting for any money. We got plenty. And doing world adventures you make a lot of money you really do once you get these gems and these relics you just start selling off and you will come out with way way more than you would normally get in a regular job so it's not a big deal now my personal game that I'm playing right now my guy is um, he just finished he wrapped up China he's done everything in China he's got every one of the collections he's done all the tombs um, he's gotten everything done got his level 3 visa uh, he's mastered martial arts and became the martial art champion. He's done all of it. Um, let's see, the only thing he has not done is buy a vacation home and I'm not letting him do that. So he's done everything here and we're about to move on. Um, thinking about two or three days when I play him again, we're going to move over to Egypt and start working on that. So I ought to actually do an update video on that one because it's a game I'm doing. It's kind of a, a weird, a weird deal that I'm doing with this game. And um, it's kind of interesting, so I may do it. I may do a little quick, very brief update video. If you guys are interested, I don't know. You guys might not be. <laughs> you may have no interest whatsoever in what I'm doing. So, but it is a fun game I'm playing. Just something different. I was trying to play something different from all the challenges and everything else that I'm doing for you guys. And uh, still make it interesting for me at home. Alright, so Pottery of Peculiar Properties. Okay, a good find. This will work perfectly in the eyepiece of the telescope. It is almost finished. All I need now is a lens. I'll need to send some ancient pottery to the glass maker uh, to be ground down and heated into, into glass. Uh, while I finish hooking up the eyepiece, can you go out and collect two old common relics? I'll make sure to pay you. He's already got those. All right, so go ahead and deliver them. This is an easy part, and busted parts okay thanks for your help but I'm so disappointed the new telescope lens got slightly damaged in the mail and will no longer fit into the lens socket what shall I do wait I have a friend who may be able to fix it without having to send it back in the mail you Harrison have proved to be a big help in my endeavor can I request your services once again I need you to deliver the telescopic parts or telescope parts to Bayou Sioux to be fixed okay 
So now we're a delivery man. All right, go deliver the parts. And she's right here, so it doesn't. We don't have to go too far. So that's not too bad. <laughs> this has actually worked out very easy. Doesn't always work out like this, by the way. That's why I mean it's yeah it's the same adventures all the time, but sometimes it's very different how it actually lays itself out. Okay, repair retrieval. I've repaired the lens. Now that it's complete, please take it back that Li Yao can begin studying the Dragon Cave from home. Li told me you'd be paid with some simoleons and ancient coins for your help. All right, well, delivery man again. Fortunately, not too far. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get him. And again, I don't think I've done any of the major adventures that I was hoping for. Did we go after Dong Ho? I don't remember. I can check. I can find out real quick. Let's see if we did. Um, let's go into collections. We have done um, the treasure trove we just did. The market caverns we did. Lost Army was the first one. Oh, yeah. We haven't done anything. Um, yes, we got the hot springs. We have the... Um, the Dragon's Cave. Uh, we got a lot more to go. We have um, the Temple of Heaven. So yeah, there's some things we got to get done. And this LP, we have to do all of it. So it's not like we can just leave once we have a level 3 visa. We got to do it all. Which I like to do when I'm actually doing... Hang on, guys. Hang on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, lights out. It says, thank you so much. Studying the Dragon Cave at home with my new telescope is great, but I tend to observe it, uh, I'm sorry, I tried to observe it last night, and I couldn't see it with all of the lights um, on the tower. Or, or, sorry, all the lights on in the town. I'm sitting too far away from the screen. I can't read it. Um, would you mind trying to convince three locals to keep their lights off at night? I'll pay you if you can improve my view of the cave. Well, who are you to ask to actually make people turn their lights off? I don't know. All right, let's go convince some locals. Talk to this woman. Who is she? Um, take a break. Give it up, woman. Can um, can we at least say hi? <laughs> Both of you are idiots. Go ahead and talk to her real quick. Let's see if we can get her actually on our side. Oh, yeah, she's our best friend. All right, go ahead and convince her. That should take care of her. Who's this other woman out here? I heard her. Oh, please. You people are going to leave me now? All right, I hear him. Oh, it's you. <laughs> All right, go ahead and do a charming introduction with her. Oh, wait, she's not a local. She's not going to count, so don't worry about it. Don't go, don't go, don't go. So don't worry. That would be a waste of time. Let's go down to the market. It's never a waste of time to go there because they're stuck, they're trapped. You can't actually um, can't actually leave you, so you can get it done. All right, so we got one of the three. Um, having the high charisma skill is the big thing. You got to get that done. Um, if you can do that, these kinds of adventures are so super easy. It doesn't take a whole lot. But if you have to sit there and spend the whole day trying to convince them, that's when it gets annoying. So. I love having a high charisma skill before I start any of the world adventures just because it makes your life a lot easier. And it's going to make it fun even when he goes back home because he can get a lot of stuff. He can meet a lot of people and that's pretty good there too. Okay. Um, woman, you're up first, whoever you are. Let's go over here and let's just... I don't even know if we've met her. I don't have a clue if we talked to her or not. But we'll just try. We'll give it a try and see if this works. <clears throat> hey, he has to go all the way around this thing and get right in her space. Is she a friend? Uh, please, please tell me you are. Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay, go convince her. Oh, wait, no, you got to introduce yourself to her. She doesn't know you. All right, so that one at least did. So do this, do this, and we should be done with this one. I don't know if we get to go into the cave or not, or get to go into any adventures, but at least we'll have this part of the of the adventure done. Mm, not sure if that's going to be enough. It might be. It might be. Let's, all right, Harrison, turn on the charm. I know you're hungry. You might as well eat while you're here too. 
If she gives you the go ahead, that should have been it. Alright, now are you tired? Yeah, you're tired. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I should have a dragon. I can do the dragon. That'd be a lot quicker and cheaper. Ah, right, don't buy don't buy food. All right, just cancel that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, talk to him and see if we can get your death flower now. Because in case you die, I don't want to have to actually mess. I don't want to have to deal with that. Just take care of you. Yes, it should. And I need to go take care of your bladder. Uh, I guess that would be easy. All right. It should have gone up all the way, but it didn't yet. All right. Speed you up. There we go. Now put this guy put this guy away. Um, uh, hopefully he's gonna get the um, death flower. I think he will. <coughs> I have no idea where he went. <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay, you're hiding from me. Yeah, I love the fact that they can just summon one. That is a it's a new level of cheating to be perfectly honest with you, but. Since this is Dragon Valley, I can do it. Although I feel like I'm not really doing Dragon Valley because we haven't been there in a while. Alright, there you go. Pick that thing up. And you can actually do that and make a lot of money. You can sell those things and you do pretty well. So, I don't think he had one. I really didn't. I was going to look through while he was sleeping, but he didn't go to sleep. So, I don't think he has any death flowers. And you need one. Well, you don't. I mean, But I like to have one just when I travel, just in case. If you watch my original World Adventures LP, you'll notice that I almost got to the very end. And uh, he almost died right there at the very end. I had to do a little bit of... Um... um I did a little cheating. I did just because I wasn't going to lose him at the very end. Not after gotten had gotten through so much, but still, if I'd had a death flower, it wouldn't have been a big issue. Okay, so he's going to do this report in, and I'm hoping that we're going to get something decent out of this. Now you don't have to worry about time. You can report in at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, you can't go to their house and try to visit them, but you can actually report in. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, they should still be standing. Yep, mailbox watchers. <laughs> I love it. Go ahead and talk to this guy and let's get this out of the way. I just want to see if we get a good adventure. I'd like to leave this LP or this episode locked in with something good. Something like the axe, please. <laughs> Anytime. Alright, let's head on home. My goodness, the Dragon Cave is absolutely astounding at night. I have to study it much, much more in the nighttime hours. Thank you so much for your help and as promised, here is your reward. Um, 800 simoleons for that. Alright, plus some uh, 20 visa points. That's not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> not like I have a choice. Okay, you're going to go over here and you are going to check for adventures. And please get something good. All I want is something really, really good. And I've been watching. I haven't had any issues with this LP. So I'm so glad the file was saved. Everything is fine. Um, I don't want to catch fish. I don't want to do that. Let's try something else. Let's see if something better shows up. Come on, be good. Nothing. <laughs> now you're scaring me. Here, I just say that. Now you're going to mess me up. Oh, great. Don't you do this to me. That's what I wanted. All right, confounded boulder. It says, I am a com um, I'm a common adventurer in need of assistance. If you have a desire to learn the ancient art of smashing giant boulders, please contact Sun Young Hong as soon as you are able. Okay, this is probably the most important adventure you're going to get in all of World Adventures. So you do not want to um, you do not want to X out of this one. You want to go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's going to be annoying. You're going to have a whole lot of stuff to do, but it's definitely worth the tr um, worth all the effort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. When we come back for the next episode, we are going to start on this adventure, and we are going to get that boulder. And it's going to take us probably the entire episode to get to get the boulder. And then they send us on another adventure right afterwards. So uh, he should get his level 3 visa. But let's look at how many days he's got left here. Oh, he's got plenty of time. So we'll be fine and um, we should be good. So guys, thank you so much for watching the LP. I hope you are glad that it's back. I'm really excited because I was really upset that I lost any of my LPs. And I have fought really hard. Um, life's been more than crazy for the last couple of weeks actually for the last month but the last two weeks especially have been um, 
a nightmare doesn't even cover it. It's just been awful. But I'm so glad that I was able to actually salvage and do a lot of things. You're going to see a lot of uh, old faces popping back up on my on my channel. So um, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. And hopefully I can get these things out to you guys and get back on some kind of a routine. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying it and will stick with me with Dragon Valley. If not, <laughs> it's just for me then. I'll have fun doing it on my own. So guys, thank you again for watching. And I will see you next time.